Hello and welcome. In this video, we would be looking at Cisco's Cloud Email Security, which is also known as CES. This is a purely cloud-based offering by Cisco, and it doesn't have any sort of hardware or software components that live on your data center on your client side. So um, everything is provided by the Cisco's in their cloud. All you have to do is just tweak some email related settings and you'll be good to go. Now looking at the architecture, if you see on the right, right side, that's the portion after integration with Cisco CES and the left side is before integration. So all you do is just point your uh, DNS records for email to Cisco CES. So that acts as a man in the middle, which which performs inspection on your email, which are either outbound or inbound, and applies the policies that you create on Cisco CES. So let's see how it is configured. Currently I'm using Gmail uh, for business as my emails for testing purpose. So right now I'm in the admin panel of Google admin page. So this can also apply for Office 365 or if you also have an on-premise solution for emails. So the first thing that you need to do is log into your Cisco's provided CES appliances, which are essentially in the cloud, and make sure that you're signed into the proper appliances. Navigate to your uh, management console, which essentially provides you with the overview of what's happening the emails being detected, dropped, the spams, etc. So essentially this would be your reporting uh, sort of platform so that you can investigate, uh, extract reports, try to see what's happening and uh, go through the logs, etc. So uh, this would be your one-step solution for investigating investigation purposes. And obviously it has filters, so it, it, you can customize it based on your requirements and uh, you'll be able to find out the data that you need. So the very first thing that you need to do is change your MX records in your DNS config and point them to the Cisco's provided CES appliances. So what I've done is I pointed these to the Cisco CES that Cisco has provided me. So uh, note that these two are unique to each and every customer. So once you have that, you save it and go back to your email client. Right now I'm on Google, which is my mail client. And I have the domain called nextpertise.net. So I navigate to settings. And all I need to do now is select my email and make sure that the pointers that I set up for um, for my mails, for my MX records, are reflecting correctly in uh, in Gmail, which is the client that I'm using right now. So this would be the same for you as well, except the steps would be different, but the end goal is the same thing. So I navigate to advanced settings and I check what are the MX records that are reflecting in um, my email client. So as you can see, uh, the changes are propagated. Note that it may take about um, maybe eight to 24 hours to reflect and replicate those changes across the internet. The next thing that you need to do is change your settings on um, CES side to make sure that the incoming emails are inspected by Cisco CES and then reroute it back to Gmail or your email provider. So basically the man in the middle that we saw in the architecture slide. So the first step that you need to do on Cisco CES is access the recipient access table to, and make sure that you have your domain set up here for inbound incoming emails, right? So you need to set it up in um, accept mode for action to allow those incoming emails. Otherwise, 
uh, if this is not set up correctly they would either be dropped or somebody else may use your uh, CES for uh, their own inspection purposes so once you have confirmed that uh, you have um, set up your domain correctly to accept inbound emails uh, go to network and set up SMTP rules to reroute the inbound um, emails that are received by CES to your destination domain so you create the domain and under the destinations you put the mail server host names so in my case since it is Gmail I put the Google um, mail servers out here based on the priority order so if it is Office 365 you would obtain this list from Microsoft or if you are using any on-premise solution this would be the host names for your on-premise email servers which are publicly accessible over port 25 so make sure that you set up the priorities correct you set up the ports correctly and host names correctly and hit submit to save those changes and once you do that commit all your changes by uh, clicking the commit button uh, to make sure that the changes are saved and let's head on to um, testing it out and let's see uh, if I receive those so right now I'm using uh, an external client to send an email to um, an email recipient that's on nextpertise.net which is my test domain which is set up to inspect emails uh, via Cisco CES so let's send this email and I'll navigate to my inbox let's give it a couple of minutes and here it is so I have received this email I can verify uh, that's the same one that I sent so I'll go back to uh, my uh, management appliance which I can use to um, check the reports and uh, the logs so right now I'm interested in message tracking so I click message tracking and uh, I change the time filters so that it matches the exact time window that I uh, used to send the email and here it is if you don't see this at, at first uh, it may take some time to reflect and there's my IP address that was used to send this email and at the bottom you see uh, the email successfully delivered so uh, this is a simple test that you can use to verify that you have set up correctly and uh, if, you, if you don't see this happening that there may be some issues with your DNS uh, MX record setup so you make sure that the DNS is correctly routed to use the Cisco CES and you'll be good to go so this is the end of this short video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any other questions feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll be uh, happy enough to address them or help you out if you are having any issues in deploying this if you have any other needs for CES like policy based um, requirements do feel free to leave out these comments down below and I'll be happy to make another video for you. Thank you guys.